Kate forced to intervene to defuse difficult moment amid William and Harry rift. Kate, William, Harry and Meghan were once dubbed the Fab Four but relations have been strained since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their bombshell departure from the firm last year, which was dubbed Megxit. Harry briefly returned to the UK from his new California home to join the other royals for Prince Philip's funeral last month. This was the first time he was reunited with his family after making shocking claims publicly to Oprah Winfrey about why he quit his role as a working royal. Kate. William and Harry were seen chatting as they left St. George's Chapel, in the grounds of Windsor Castle after the service for the Duke of Edinburgh. However royal expert Katie Nichol said Kate was forced to act as peacemaker for the two brothers as she instigated them to talk. She told Vanity Fair, unsurprisingly it was Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, who has previously acted as a peacemaker between the brothers who instigated the much longed for truce after the service. As William chatted to the Dean of Westminster outside the chapel, she engaged Harry in conversation. In their masks it was impossible to know what was said, but somehow Kate managed to diffuse a deeply tense and difficult moment. Kate was pictured at the funeral speaking to Harry, while William talked to other members of the congregation. She then walked a few paces behind them as they left the chapel which allowed the brothers to speak one to one. Kate was reported to be hopeful of a resolution between Harry and his family following his brief visit. A royal source said, William and Harry have managed to speak on the phone. They very much agree that this week is absolutely about supporting the Queen, the rest of the family and commemorating the life and legacy of their grandfather. Another insider noted Kate may have wanted William to share the same close bond with Harry that she has with her own siblings. They told The Telegraph, being so close to her own siblings, Pippa and James, and having witnessed firsthand the special bond between William and Harry, she has found the whole situation difficult and upsetting. She is certainly someone who shies away from conflict and will be hoping to soothe the tensions. It comes after the Cambridge couple were forced to deal with the fallout from Meghan and Harry's bombshell Oprah interview in March. Kate was publicly singled out by Meghan as having made her cry in the run-up to her 2018 wedding in a disagreement over flower girl dresses. She said, I don't say that to be disparaging to anyone because it was a really hard week of the wedding and she was upset about something. A few days before the wedding, Kate was upset about something. Yes. The issue was correct about flower girl dresses. Kate has not publicly responded to the claims but Buckingham Palace later said recollections may vary. William was also the first royal to speak out against the claims as he told reporters that the royal family were not a racist family. The Duke of Sussex said they were on different paths but that he loved him to bits. He said, as I've said before, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. I mean, we have a shared experience. But we're on different paths. The relationship is space at the moment. And time heals all things, hopefully. However, the Sussexes showed there was no lingering animosity after they sent a private message to Kate and William on their wedding anniversary last month, a spokesperson for the Sussexes confirmed to the Daily Beast.